Good evening. On behalf of AKC Registration, I would like to welcome you to the AKC Reader Toolkit webinar. I'm Lindsay Young, Education Programs Manager and your facilitator for tonight's webinar. To begin, I'd like to give you a quick tour of the webinar platform so that you will be able to interact with the presenter that we have for you this evening. On the right-hand side of your screen, you will see the webinar dashboard. Zooming in, we will first look at the orange arrow. Clicking on this arrow will cause the dashboard to collapse, eliminating the details. You can then click on any gray portion of the remaining smaller dashboard bar to move it around your screen if desired. Clicking the orange arrow again will cause the dashboard to return to its expanded form. The next icon is your microphone. The icon is currently a picture of a microphone with an orange background and a line through it. Because we have so many people joining us tonight, all microphones are muted. Looking further down the dashboard, you will see a section for questions. When you have a question to add, please do so here. Then hit the send button. And finally, your presenter this evening, Kelly Klusowski, CS Training and QA Manager, Kelly, I will now turn it over to you. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. I am so excited to be sharing our first Breeder Toolkit webinar with you today. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Uh, as mentioned, my name is Kelly Klazowski. I am the manager of AKC Customer Service Training and Quality Assurance. And I'm joined today in our chat by Linda and Sierra, who will be helping to answer your questions as we present our overview this evening. So we'll go ahead and get started and talk about what Breeder Toolkit is, otherwise known as BRET. This is a tool that we created for AKC breeders and it's a free resource for you that centralizes important AKC registration and record keeping functions into one location. Brett is organized as clickable cards with targeted functions for the management of dogs, litters, breeding records, and more. You can see a screenshot of it here over on the right-hand side with the ability to imp pin important cards up to the top. And Brett also includes record keeping and reporting functions such as your dog summary report, litter records, entry forms, electronic registration forms, which include your electronic litter kit and prepay, along with the ability to easily order duplicate registration certificates for dogs that you currently own. What you'll be learning today is how to create or sign in to your My AKC account. It is absolutely free. Navigating Brett on www.akc.org, you can see here it's accessible under our products and services menu with a link to Breeder Toolkit right here, as well as a link within your My AKC account. And we'll be talking about the basic functions of each Brett card, including demonstration. All right, the first step is going to be navigating on our website, which is www.akc.org. In the upper right-hand corner, you're going to locate the sign-in icon. You can see it here and click or tap on it. Now, the mobile experience is just a little bit different and we've got a screenshot of it here. And then you'll enter your email address and password and click on the login button. Now, if you are new to creating a My AKC account, the, the first steps are going to be the same. We're going to navigate to our website, www.akc.org, locate that sign-in icon in the upper right-hand corner, and then we'll click or tap on it, and then click the link at the bottom to create your AKC account now, as you see here. Now, on that sign-up window, you'll need to type a valid email address that you can access and will use across AKC platforms, including AKC Marketplace. You'll also need to enter your first name and last name. Now your last name should match the last name on your dog registration. So for example, if you have a hyphenated last name, be sure you enter it the same as it is on your registration. And then go ahead and select a password. Your password must contain at least eight characters and include three of the four following items, which is an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a number, and a special symbol. Next, click on Create Account. 
Now, once you create your account, there is a one-time verification process. You'll need to navigate to your email and locate an email sent from no reply at support.akc.org and open it. It should look similar to the screenshot you have here. And then click on the link to verify my AKC account. Next, you'll be brought back to the AKC website where you'll now be logged in, and then you'll click on your name in the upper right-hand corner or on account if you're on a phone or a tablet, and then click on My AKC. Once you've logged in, click the Breeder Toolkit link. Now, legacy account holders will complete a brief conversion process if you've never been in Breeder Toolkit. Your records will migrate over for you. If you've already been in Breeder Toolkit, you'll be directed to the home page. And if you are a new account user, you'll be prompted to add a currently owned dog. And you will need the registration number and certificate issue date. Now, both of these items are located on the paper registration certificate that we mailed to you after you registered your dog or transferred ownership. And you can see here a sample certificate. And we're looking for that certificate issue date underneath the logo. If you do need assistance with us, please contact customer service. We are glad to help. Okay, so we're going to go through the various cards in Breeder Toolkit tonight, and we will start out with Manage Dogs. Now this card is used to add, view, and manage owned or followed dogs. And it does include action buttons and a filtering menu called Show Me up at the top. So we can see here we have a button to add a dog. We also have downloadable PDFs, which is going to be your AKC dog summary report, a very helpful show me menu here so that we can sort by favorite dogs, hidden dogs, dogs that we currently own, or we can also search by dog names containing, which is very helpful. We can also see the number of pages of dogs we have in our account, the total number of results and the rows per page, which you can adjust to view more at one time. Now your dogs are going to be displayed as expandable lists and you can see a sample list here and we're just going to click a plus to view the details of any given dog. These column headers are also sort buttons for you which can be very helpful especially by birth date. If you'd like to bring the newest dogs up to the top of your list you can click once to sort in ascending order and click once to sort in descending order. Now there's also a status column which will really help you manage your list of dogs because it can be used to sort and manage either dogs that you own or dogs that you're following. Now if you've had an AKC account in the past, these were called dogs of interest. We now call them followed dogs. You're going to click on the icon in the options column to either favorite that dog, unfavorite that dog, hide or unfollow that dog. So we'll be going through what that looks like in Brett tonight as well. Now, we've had a lot of questions about removing dogs from the account. Followed dogs can be removed. However, if you have owned or previously owned dogs and they exist in your account, they cannot be removed. So our suggestion is to go ahead and hide those dogs that you no longer wish to display and then use the show me filter to sort your list. So as we mentioned, the records have a plus to expand and then it turns into a minus and we would click that minus to collapse the dog's record. And once we're viewing a dog's record, we're going to see four tabs along the left-hand side as well as some links up across the top here. So what we're seeing on that dog details tab is going to be most of the details that we would look at, including the AKC number, the registration type, whether that's full or limited, the breed, sex, and color of that dog, of course, your optional markings, and we'll talk about how we can add in a call name, if we can, uh, whether we can add that the dog is spayed or neutered. We can see medical screens that have been submitted to us, so that's going to be your OFA, your chick, and your AKC DNA. Then on the right hand side, we've got the birth date. You will also have the ability to add a deceased date for that dog the sire and dams information, the breeder information, and here is your permanent identifier. And you can add microchips or tattoos at any time. Now up across the top, we have the ability to download this dog's record, download various AKC entry forms, create a crate card that you can print and then uh, post near the dog's crate. And for dogs that you currently own, we have the ability to order a duplicate certificate. 
Now the edit button is what's going to allow you to add that call name for the dog, indicate whether the dog is spayed or neutered, add in a deceased date or your permanent identifiers. And this information does carry through to our records. However, the notes field at the bottom is just for your personal use and does not save to AKC records. Just be sure any changes you make here, you go ahead and click on that save button. Also along the left-hand side, we have the owners, litter of origin, and titles and points tabs. Now, depending on if you are an owner of this dog, that information may be restricted. If you are a current owner, you will see your ownership dates. If you own the litter of which this dog is a member, you will see the litter details. And of course, titles and points. This is similar to our free awards report that's on the AKC shop. So we can see that uh, with any dog that's added to our account. So with that said, let's go ahead and view a dog record in real time. So here we are in Breeder Toolkit, and we can see up at the top, we have the ability to pin tools. And this is so that we can take important cards that we might visit often and place those right here at the top. It's a click once to add it, click once to remove it. Now with Manage Dogs, we'll go ahead and click on Go. And here we have a list up at the top. So right now my show me filter says dog names containing. However, I'm going to go ahead and change that to my dogs. Here we can see I've got six plus pages of dogs. Here's my results. And again, here's the ability to adjust that list for how many you're viewing. Now on the right hand side, here's that status column where we see the binoculars, this is a dog that we are following. We do not own this dog. And this is where we can select to stop following that dog, which is going to remove that dog from the account. And again, you cannot remove dogs that you own, but you can remove followed dogs. We also can add a dog to favorites or we can hide a dog. And once we do that, we can also click to sort our columns here. And then we can use our filter up at the top. So now maybe we're narrowing this down to just view my favorite dogs or just the dogs that I'm following or dogs that I currently own. Now hidden dogs will not be shown in this view. So it's very easy to navigate using your sort options and your status. Now, one of the things I really like to use is the dog names containing because it's a quick way to locate a dog with a minimum of just a few characters required. So I typed in the name Pepper here, just pressed my enter key, or you can click on apply. And here we're going to look at Pepper Ann's record. So we can see Pepper Ann has some titles or a title here. We've got our dog details. We've got some medical screens. We don't have any permanent identifiers. However, notice that we don't have the ability to order a duplicate certificate or edit. And that is because this is a followed dog. This is not a dog that I own, so I cannot add those details. Now the owner's information is going to be restricted because I am not an owner of this dog. Same with the litter of origin. However, we can see the basic titles and points. So it's a great way to navigate a dog's record. In contrast, if we look at another dog's record, here we have the ownership details, the ability to add notes, and that is how we obtained that dog and what kind of paperwork was provided when we acquired that dog. We're also going to have the ability to order that duplicate certificate, download the dog record. Now these are just going to be PDF files that will download to your computer. You can pull it up and take a look at it here. And then download entry form. That's going to be the various options displayed here. Here's your crate card where you can type in the information and notes and go ahead and print that. And then of course the duplicate, which I'm going to circle back to. Back to the dog details again. Here's that edit option. So we can see all of the information that is available for us to add. Just be sure to save anytime you make a change. Okay. Now that we've looked at the dog's record, let's talk about adding a dog. Now, when we are in our Manage Dogs card, we're going to click on Add a Dog, 
And you have two different options here. You can use the AKC registration number, or you can search by a dog name and a breed. So you can choose one of these two options. If you are searching, you only need five characters of the name to begin. Most often that's going to be a kennel name, but it does need to be the very beginning of the dog's name. If there is more than one dog located, a list is going to display for you, and you just want to click on the dog that you would like to add. Uh, be noting that there are multiple pages that may display, so you may need to navigate through these pages as well as locate the results. And if you are looking for a more recent dog, be sure you click on that birth date column to bring the newest dogs or the youngest dogs up to the top, and then click on continue. The next step, is you're going to select whether it's a dog that you currently own, which again requires your last name to match and you do need that certificate issue date for the dog, or if it's a dog that you are going to follow. Now, if you do choose that it's a dog that you own, you're going to select this top option, enter in your certificate issue date and check this box certifying that you are the recorded owner of this dog and then click on finish. Otherwise, you can choose this bottom option to follow that dog and click on finish. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna jump back in here and we can see here is my add a dog. Now I am going to go ahead and just add part of a dog's name. And we're going to navigate down to the G's. Here I have enough of the name that I've only got one result. Click on continue. And I am going to choose that I have never owned this dog, but I want to follow this dog in my list and click on finish. Now, why would we follow a dog? You may add, uh, for example, a sire that you would like to have as part of your breeding program, but maybe you don't own that sire. Or it could be puppies from litters that you have produced in the past. There's lots of different reasons people may add a dog that they've followed. Now, again, if you don't see that dog in your list right away, be sure to use the show me filter up at the top. And here, if we go to my followed dogs, there is Zola and we can see her information here. So very easy to go ahead and add a dog. And again, if you need help with your dog's AKC registration number or certificate issue date, contact customer service and we'll be happy to help. Now I did touch on duplicates just a little bit earlier. You can order duplicate registration certificates for dogs that you currently own right from within Breeder Toolkit. I would suggest use the show me filter and either use dog names containing to narrow down the dog or choose dogs I currently own. Click the plus to expand that dog's record and then we're going to click on that link to order duplicate certificate right over here and follow your on-screen prompt to complete your payment. Now, if you do need other duplicates besides a duplicate certificate, we actually have that available on akc.org and the easiest way to get there, I'm gonna bring over our site here. We're gonna click on register today and on the left-hand side, here is your link for online duplicates. Now, you do need to have a My AKC account, so if you haven't created one, I'd recommend you create it, and you will, of course, need that dog added to your account. Now, if you're a litter owner, be sure you add the dam of the litter to your account. So not only can you order a duplicate certificate, but you can also order your duplicate litter kit or individual dog registration applications. All right, let's take a closer look at a duplicate certificate or a duplicate order. So I am looking at my followed dogs. I'm going to go to dogs I currently own. We've got Gidget here up at the top. Here is my link to order duplicate certificates. And it's very quick and easy. It is a one-step process. If you do not want to use the address that you currently have on file, just uncheck that mailing address, type in your new address, and same with your billing address. Right now, it is a flat fee of $20. You'll scroll down, enter in your credit card information, and complete your purchase. That's all there is to it. All right, we're going to move on to manage litters. 
This is a very powerful card. It is used to view and manage AKC registered litters. We again, just like the dogs, have a shortcut to register a litter right here up at the top. You have your show me filter list and you have your clickable and sortable columns. Now the pups registered is a great one because if you are looking for litters that need to have all of the pups registered, you can sort that in ascending order to bring those litters up to the top of your list. So we can see here what that looks like. Now each litter, just like the dogs, does have its own row with that plus to expand the litter. And we'll talk about the different options available over on the right hand side within the manage litters card. So register a litter, link right here, your show me filter, and this is going to display either all of your litters, you can put in a date range, you can filter by a specific litter, or for litters that you may have prepaid or ordered that electronic litter kit, that's called ELK, you can filter by those, or by a specific dog number, or a dog name. So for example, if we were looking for dogs that just have the name Joe, we could search by that. Again, you would click the plus to expand the record, and in your litter details, you are going to see the AKC litter number, that date of birth, your complement. You're also going to have a quick link to breeding records, the ability to create crate cards, and have your downloadable litter record right here. Plus, we can easily see the progress of registered puppies. We see it in a couple of places. We see that one of two puppies is registered here. We have that green check mark indicating that this puppy is actually registered. And below that, we can see that this puppy is unregistered. So there's a lot of great information right within each litter card. There's also a link to edit. Now, depending on whether the puppy is registered or unregistered, it may say edit puppy info, it may say edit info, or it may say edit prepaid puppy. Now, an important thing that we like to point out, if you are going to register a puppy from within Manage Litters, we do want you to go ahead and click on that edit puppy info first. And the reason for that is because if you do intend to designate limited registration, you'll want to check this box first before you begin the registration process because within the manage litters, it is going to bypass those pin codes. So just be sure if you intend to use limited or assign that limited registration to click that checkbox here and then click on save. Another important piece of information is your owner information, and we'll talk about litter record keeping, but this is where you can enter that new owner information. Now, I do want to touch just a little bit more on PIN codes because we do get a lot of questions about that in customer service. Your PIN codes for each puppy are available under Manage Litters, and then on the individual puppy, you're going to click on Edit Puppy Info. Now, this is not applicable to prepaid. However, we can see here, this is our litter number, two letters followed by six numbers, and all of your puppies in the litter are going to have that same litter number with the designation designation of 01, 02, 03, et cetera. So be sure that when we are entering our litter records and providing applications that we are providing it for the correct puppy number here. Another note about limited registration, if you choose to designate limited registration, do be sure to darken that registration type box on the registration application and discuss that with your customers. And that is where we print that lighter three digit pin code. It may be at the top of your application or towards the bottom left. Now, on occasion, we may darken that registration type box and decide that we are now going to provide full registration. And if that happens, you have the ability to locate your PIN codes, and we do recommend that you provide your buyers with a signed bill of sale that specifies that puppy number and the condition of the sale. But just remember, you can always access those PIN codes whether the puppy is unregistered uh, and once the puppy is registered, although it wouldn't necessarily be needed at that point. Now, limited registrations can be revoked if needed. However, in many cases, full registrations cannot be downgraded to limited registration, so that information may be helpful when you're making your decisions.
Now, specifically, when we're talking about litter records, uh, our record keeping requirement is that you maintain your records for five years, and that's also going to help you prepare for any kennel inspections you may have. And to pre-populate that litter record form, you'll click on Edit Puppy and enter the details of your puppy sale, which is going to be on the right-hand side here. So again, we are in Manage Litters. We're viewing an individual puppy and clicking on Edit Puppy. So here, is where we can enter the date transferred, the puppy status, whether we transferred with papers or if the puppy is deceased. We can also enter a permanent identifier at any time, the registration type, and of course on the right hand side is going to be your new owner's information. Now, if you do enter your new puppy owner's information, the great thing about that is when you click this link to download your litter record, that information's already pre-populated for you. We can see here it's already been typed in with the details of your litter up at the top, and that LTDYN indicates whether you designated limited registration. So N means the dog has full registration. Um, we've had a couple of questions about kennel inspections, and I did want to take just a moment to explain the best way to get the information to help you prepare for a kennel inspection. My favorite way to access this information is from AKC's homepage, and I scroll all the way down to the bottom here. And in our footer under top resources, we have this great link for inspections and compliance. We've got a wonderful video that you can watch here. FAQs and documents, so this will really help you prepare and also provide additional resources for you. So again, that's just on our homepage. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Look for that inspections and compliance link. Okay, let's take a look at Manage Litters and our litter record. Now, one of the things I like to use is this breadcrumb up at the top. We can see here that I'm in Manage Dogs, and sometimes an additional tab will open, so I can just click back on Breeder Toolkit. That's going to bring me back to my Breeder Toolkit homepage, and here we can look at Manage Litters. So, I'm going to start by sorting, and now this is a demo account. We don't really have 20 puppies. Uh, in this litter, but we can see here, I'm just clicking to sort. We have 87 results. And then I have up at the top, my show me list. So I could choose to narrow down litters that I have prepaid, and I'll be talking about that. Or litters where I have ordered the electronic litter kit. Your electronic litter kit is always available to you in Breeder Toolkit. Or if I'm looking for a specific dog name. And in this case, let's try, see if we have Carmelo. We don't have Carmelo in here. How about Pepper? All right, so I can narrow down. I've got red pepper jelly here. Let's look at this litter. And this is a great overview. Number one, I can see that I have one of four puppies registered. I can see that I purchased the electronic litter kit because I have a link to download my litter kit, as well as print individual PDFs for each of these puppies. There's that register link I was talking about earlier. And we can see that puppy 01 is registered as a male color red, full registration. We have our green check mark, and I'm just hovering over this to get the puppy has been registered message. So again, if we needed to edit any of that puppy's info, here is where we can type in the information, and I have put some sample data in here. And then when we click on save, we also have the ability to download this puppy's record right here. But when we download our litter record, we'll see that information has been pre-populated for us. So it's a great way to make sure that your litter records are up to date. You do not need to print those if you have an upcoming inspection, but you will always have the data on hand and it's available anywhere. Okay. 
prepay. Now this is a big uh, application that we have available within Breeder Toolkit. If you have been with us for a while, you may have known this tool as Breeder Easy Reg. And this is a tool for breeders to ensure that their puppies are all registered and have the flexibility to lock in either a kennel name as a prefix at the beginning of the dog's name, as a suffix at the end, or to set the full name. Additionally, you have the ability to designate whether that puppy is going to be limited or full registration, and you would set the sex and the color of the dog. Markings are optional, and an identifier can be added at a later date. And the way it works is that your litter must first be registered. When you're registering a litter, you'll have the option to select the electronic litter kit. Uh, now, it's one or the other. You cannot have an electronic litter kit and prepaid. So if you do intend to prepaid, pay, do not select that electronic litter kit. And a huge benefit to you is that you have discounted puppy registration fees. It is currently $10 off per pup. There are no co-owner fees, no extended name fees, and discounted reunite and pedigree offerings. So it's a great way to quickly get all the puppies in your litter registered. Now it is a one-time transaction that's going to calculate the total number of unregistered pups times $23. And what that means is if I have 10 puppies in my litter, when I go to prepay, it is going to calculate 10 times that $23. If I have two of those 10 puppies already registered, or if I have begun online registrations, it will only calculate the eight remaining puppies. We cannot pick and choose which puppies we are going to prepay. Now, when you have prepaid and you are going to register these puppies, the new owner information, you have the flexibility to quickly add all current litter owners, individual litter owners, or add a completely new owner. So there's uh, all kinds of flexibility in setting up the registration for this puppy. Now, you will have received the original litter kit papers in the mail. You're going to go ahead and discard that because prepay has its own downloadable application that can be printed and mailed in for processing, or it can be completed online. The choice is yours. So the way it works to purchase prepay, we're going to navigate to manage litters. And this is where we're going to look at that options column over on the right hand side. So where we have the blue purchase options, it's going to give us the choice. I can select prepay or I can select the electronic litter kit. If this is grayed out, what that means is that all of your puppies are already registered. Great job. Uh, and then you'll also see whether or not a litter is prepaid already. And if you see download litter kit, you'll know that you purchased the electronic litter kit. So here is an example of what it looks like when we click on purchase options. These are your two, your two choices, purchase prepay or purchase an electronic litter kit. You cannot purchase both options for a litter. So you'll make your selection and click on continue. As I mentioned, the system's going to auto calculate the number of unregistered puppies at that discounted rate. Do remember that registrations cannot already be initiated on our website or the system will not calculate those puppies. If you need assistance with that, give us a call and customer service will help you out there. As I mentioned, prepay is a one-time purchase. You are not able to select the number of pups, but if you do want that flexibility, perhaps you are only intending to prepay for a few puppies in your litter. We do have a paper form called the Full Litter Offspring Plus. It is available on akc.org under our downloadable forms, and you can fill that out and send that in to us. So the way we get to our prepaid litters is I would recommend we use the show me filter up at the top and select prepaid litters. We would click on the plus to expand that litter and here is where we have edit prepaid puppy. So we can quickly see the puppies that are already registered in this case puppy one, two, and four. And we need to go ahead and finish puppy number three. And this is where we're going to set when we click on edit prepaid puppy, you're going to get this screen here. So the first choice you have is what we're doing with the dog name. If we are going to have the new owner register the dog, they'll receive a link via email and you can select the new owner will name this dog. 
If you would like to ensure that your kennel name is added as a prefix or a suffix, you're going to choose those options and enter in your kennel name. And if you'd like to set the full name for the dog, you're going to select this option. And when your new puppy buyer goes to register online, they will not be able to edit whatever you have set here. That will be grayed out. You do need to go ahead and make your dog name selection Fill in your dog details, which include the sex, whether or not we're limiting the registration and the color. Markings and identifiers are optional. The date of transfer, it cannot be a date in the future, and then add an owner. So all of this does need to be completed before you or the new owner can register the dog. Prepaying is just your first step, but you do need to go in and edit each of your puppies and set this information and then transfer that puppy. That is when the registration can be initi initiated. So important note, because sometimes there is confusion about this, transfer that puppy, make sure we're completing those steps before the new owner can register. Now, what if we transfer a puppy and that owner decides not to get that puppy? No worries, we can edit that transfer or cancel it while that puppy remains unregistered. And what that will look like is you will have the option to edit a transfer. So the first thing that happens is we fill in this information here. We can see a sample of what that looks like. We click on transfer puppy. Then we're choosing the transfer type. So we can complete that puppy's registration on behalf of the litter owner or the new owners. This is great for breeders of merit who want to ensure that 100% of their puppies are registered. We may want to go ahead and complete that registration so we know that that puppy got registered or we can select new owner will complete the transfer. They will receive an email with a PDF attachment of the application as well as a link to initiate their online registration. And here we can see the confirmation that the transfer is complete. This is a sample of what the new owner may receive. They have a PDF attachment of that prepaid registration, a link available within the email, and they can either go ahead and print the application, which looks like this, and mail that into us, or they can click the link to register online. And of course, during registration, we have those great options available for add-on products and services such as AKC Reunite, Pedigrees, um, all kinds of great things. And again, you have the ability to edit the transfer until that puppy is registered. So I've got a screenshot here of that edit transfer. This is the window that you will receive when you click on that where you can edit the information. That's great if we had a typo in the owner's information, or maybe we needed to add a co-owner. We can also cancel that puppy transfer if something has changed, or if we need to go ahead and ensure that that puppy now gets registered, we're going to go ahead and click on complete on behalf of the litter owner or new owners, and we can go ahead and complete that registration ourselves. So let's take a look before we get into electronic litter kit what that looks like. So I'm going to use my show me filter for prepaid litters and we'll pick this litter here. Now we can see various states of information here. So I've got a longer blue line that indicates when I just hover over it that this puppy has been transferred. But here I have the ability to edit that prepaid puppy. So this is once again where I can set a prefix. I can select the sex of the dog, the color. You've got a little calendar icon here where we can select when that puppy was transferred. And then we can add a new owner and be able to type in that information. So once we type in all of that information or we can choose to remove the owner, then we would click on transfer puppy. I'm going to go back and just to let you know, these do open up a separate tab in your browser window. So if you need to get back to Breeder Toolkit, just click on your other tab so we can get there. Uh, here's an example of a puppy that's a little bit farther along here. And this is where we could edit that transfer and make any changes. So great tool, lots of flexibility for you. 
The next feature that's been very popular is the electronic litter kit, also called ELK. This is for those of us who enjoy the convenience of printing our litter kit on demand. Sometimes things don't arrive as quickly in the mail as we hope they would, and we need to get that litter kit a little bit more quickly. So there's two ways you can purchase the ELK. The first way is during your litter registration, and when you get to this screen, you're going to choose the electronic litter kit. And by the way, look for exciting changes coming up in the future here or you can purchase it within Breeder Toolkit. Now, if you do purchase the electronic litter kit while you're registering your litter, watch for a link, a message that you should receive an email. Be sure to check your spam or your junk if you don't see it, and you'll have the ability to manage litters and a download link. It is usually delivered very quickly within minutes. This, again, cannot be combined with prepay, and if you do select the electronic litter kit while you are registering your litter, we do not mail you a paper litter kit. So if you do change your mind and you didn't select elk while you were registering your litter, that's okay. You'll still receive your paper litter kit in the mail, but you can in the meantime go into Breeder Toolkit, click on that purchase options of the litter, and then purchase the electronic litter kit that way. If that is your choice, then go ahead and discard that original litter kit that was mailed, and it's a great option when you need your litter kit sooner rather than later. Now, we do occasionally get questions about, well, what if I don't have a printer at home or my printer isn't working? Uh, you can download these as PDFs, and you can either print from home or, if you need to, a library or office supply store are great options, and just be sure that all of your litter owners are actually signing those applications. Your elk is always accessible through managed litters. You can easily print the entire litter kit and that's going to be download litter kit. So you will get your entire litter kit as one PDF file, two pages per puppy, a front side and a back side, or we can print individual PDFs, which are a great option when a new owner needs a replacement. Maybe their puppy got a hold of their application and they need a new one. Do be sure that you are updating your litter records. And again, this is under Manage Litters, Edit Puppy Info or Edit Info, depending if the puppy is registered or not, for accuracy. And it's really important to make sure that you're including which AKC registration number you sold to which owner. So as a review, Manage Litters, Purchase Options, to purchase the electronic litter kit, it is currently a $15 flat fee for all unregistered puppies. I've got a little bit of a screenshot here of that billing in process. Do ensure that your billing information is correct. And once processed, it just takes a few moments, then you can refresh your screen and look for the download litter kit link. And as I explained, you can either download that whole litter kit at one time or print on, click on print PDF next to each puppy application. Great news, no expiration, and your PDF files are only going to be generated for unregistered puppies. And then edit info is for your records and will appear on your downloaded litter record. So what does that look like? We're back here in Breeder Toolkit. Up at the top, instead of prepaid litters, let's go to elk litters. And here we can see what that looks like. So I'm going to expand this litter and I can either download the entire litter kit, which should display shortly, or I can print and download, download and print individual PDF files. This may take just a moment here. There we go. And here's your litter kit. So we can see we've got eight pages and we just scroll through and you've got one for each puppy. So very quick and easy to download your litter kit or print individual PDF files, which is just going to generate a PDF file for whichever puppy you've clicked on here. Okay, key points for managed litters. Edit puppy info is where you can access your PIN codes. Be sure that you are still providing a signed application. 
If you are going to click the register link from within Manage Litters, be sure that you click on Edit Puppy Info if you intend to limit that puppy's registration. What I mean by that is right here, Edit Info. This is where we would click on Limited and save it before we click on this register link. Be sure that you are maintaining your litter records for five years and we make it very convenient for you to go ahead and download your litter record and it's pre-populated anytime you enter information in the new owner section under edit puppy info. You have two different purchase options. You can prepay, which is currently $23 per pup. It's a great value. There are no co-owner fees. You can set all or part of the name, ensure the registration type is correct, and help get 100% of your puppies all registered. Be sure that you complete that step to transfer the puppy, or you can order the electronic litter kit, which is $12 during litter registration. It's $15 if you purchase it after the fact within Breeder Toolkit. Your PDF applications are always there. You can print and sign at any time and duplicates when you need them. Plus, you can easily see the status of your registered puppies, including name and registration type. Okay, this card, Litter Coupons, is such a great way for you to retrieve a discount code for a future litter registration. Now, this is going to go ahead and automatically calculate a discount code for you when 100% of puppies from your previous litters are registered. It is a great benefit to breeders who are ensuring that all of their puppies are registered and it's a great incentive for prepay. Also a great reminder to your puppy owners to go ahead and complete their registration. It is going to automatically track your registration progress and automatically generate that coupon for you. All you need to do is click and copy it and paste it into your online litter registration and enjoy the discount. It will also let you know if that coupon has already been been used, so we'll go ahead and view it. Now here is a screenshot and we can see here a coupon code and when we hover over this little informational symbol it will tell me if I have already used that coupon and which transaction it was applied to and then we've got our little copy link. So let's go ahead and take a look at the litter coupons card. I'm just clicking on my breadcrumb back to breeder toolkit, litter coupons. Now you are only going to see coupons for litters registered after October 1st of 2019. You do have the flexibility to adjust your date range here. And this is a great way to sort by clicking on pups registered so we can bring our most current up to the top. It's also very visual with the registration progress so we know how we're doing on our registration. So here we can see three of three pups are registered. We have our check mark, we are complete. We have our coupon here and we would simply click on this little piece of paper to copy it and then you would apply that to your online litter registration. And if we had used it, it's going to let us know that it's been applied to this particular transaction. So great way to track your registration progress. And again, you can click on these two columns for uh, a quick and easy way to see which litters wouldn't, would benefit from getting those puppies registered. So that is our litter coupons card. Very simple and easy to use. Next, I'm going to talk about my transactions. Now this card is going to track your registration activity when you are logged in to Breeder Toolkit. So a great example of this is going to be for anyone who is uh, applying to register a foreign dog online. It's a great way to check on the status of your foreign application or any other registrations. If you have initiated those when you were logged into your account, you will have links to applicable transactions that can be edited. Foreign is a great example here. We can see that it's pending and the ability to get back in and edit that transaction. So what does that look like? I'm going to take this push pin off here, go to my transactions, and we can adjust our date range. Let's see if we have anything here. 
And this is a sample of what it looks like. So it's a great way to find out the status if we have started registrations, maybe it's a litter and we're waiting for a sire owner approval. So fantastic way to easily check on those transactions. Breeding records. This is a card that we can use to create and manage your personal AKC mating, birth, and puppy records. Now, this does not update AKC official records, but it is for your use because you can add individual records. You can add mating records, birth records, and of course, your litter records will already be populated when the litter is registered with us. So, you have the ability to also sort up at the top and you can see the total number of results. The way it works is that breeders are going to create a birth record when the litter is whelped but has not yet been AKC registered, and you can also create your mating records. Now, once that litter is officially registered, the system's going to create a litter record and will display it with your birth record, and it may appear as B-L. Changes here, again, do not update official AKC information, but it's a great way to track any mating history that you may have, and then, of course, when we've got litter details, we can see a B-L here, then we have puppies and we have litter, and we have the ability to delete puppies or add puppies as necessary. Now that puppies tab specifically allows you to edit the details that eventually become your litter records. So if a puppy is unregistered, it can be deleted, and this tab is going to appear on your birth litter record of the dam or the bitch. So we can see an example of what that looks like, and we've got varying states of registration or unregistered puppies. And here is the difference of a registered puppy and an unregistered puppy, just showing you here that you can delete the puppy for the unregistered puppy. Now, if multiple sires are used, a separate mating record for each sire is required for AKC record keeping purposes. So here's a couple of screenshots here. And let's go ahead and take a look at that breeding records card. So we're going to close that guy, come over here, look at breeding records, and again, we can use that show me filter up at the top. So we can look for just my bitches as an example and see our various records. And you can sort this. We see how many total results we have. If we would like to view more on a page, we can change that here. Or if we are looking for specific dog names, uh, maybe we're looking just for a dog named Bear, then it's going to pull in any names that contain Bear. And we can expand these and take a look at mating and birth or litter. We have the ability to edit some information. This might be your date of mating, the mating method, witnesses, and then of course birth records. So um, a lot of great information here and then of course we can transfer that information over and go over to manage litters and look at this litter detail. So we can also go to breeding records here. Okay, the next card is Bread with Heart, which stands for Health, Education, Accountability, Responsibility, and Tradition. Breeders enrolled in this program can quickly access their enrollment dates, their renewal options, their recognition materials like your banners and discount codes. And we can see here a snapshot of program benefits. Now, if you are not enrolled in Breeder Toolkit, you will be directed when you click on that card to our homepage and you can apply there if you are interested. If you are already enrolled in Breeder Toolkit, you can click continue to renew or purchase your Bread with Heart puppy folders. We can see your enrollment period, your downloadable certificate, your litter coupon codes, your microchip codes, and your web banners. And I just want to show you here that card. I'm going to go back to Breeder Toolkit. Here is our Bread with Heart card. And we can see this is bringing us to the Bread with Heart page on the AKC website for more great information about that program. 
the pet insurance portal is going to allow you to print out the AKC pet insurance activation forms and you can tuck those into your puppy folders or you can email those to your customer and that's what it looks like here when we click on go we can see our litters and we can see again the number of pups registered so maybe if we have a litter with zero puppies registered we're clicking on get forms and we can either choose to print or we can email now if you print it should come up as a PDF initially this is what it looks like and a call to action to go ahead and get your puppy registered and lots of great information and you can print that yourself and include that in your puppy folders. Here's a screenshot of what that looks like and again this is to activate the 30-day complimentary policy. Now the next card here is a real important one and that is your emergency plan. And our care and conditions policy does ask that all breeders have a written emergency preparedness plan for your dogs. Many of us may have one in mind, but we may not have it in writing. So this card is going to be a great help to you to go ahead and complete your emergency plan by uh, something that will work for both you and your dogs. Now it is a clickable and fillable form. In the first part here, you can click and type all of the information so you're filling in your plan and then the second part is further considerations for review and then you have the ability to download and print your plan and there is a link in the upper right hand corner and what that looks like here if we go back to breeder toolkit and again I'm going to use my breadcrumb here we have our emergency plan and this is what it looks like and here's your part two with considerations. All right, now also included in Brett are various quick link cards. So a quick jump to register a litter, whether you own the dam and the sire, you are already logged into your account. So you will have available dogs to click on in your drop down list. And of course you can add dogs if they do not already appear in your account, whether you only own the dam of the litter or if you own the sire of the litter, that's going to be your quick sire owner approval link. We also have a registration card to register a dog that is not prepaid, a quick link to transfer ownership of a dog, a quick link to register a foreign dog online where you can upload and submit your documents. Uh, do know that we still require 15 to 30 days for your registration to be reviewed and processed, but it is a great way to start by uploading and completing your online foreign registration application. And then a quick link to visit Marketplace where you can uh, advertise your litter. Now, if you are a breeder of merit, you do receive free listings and priority ad placement is available for breeders of merit, bred with heart participants and club members, or you can choose a plan that works for you. Additionally, we have a quick link card to AKC Reunite, which is our nation's largest nonprofit pet microchip and recovery service. Uh, just like AKC registration, there are no annual fees. You have great microchip and reader sales and support. And as the microchip purchaser, you're always linked with a puppy's microchip and microchips meet the permanent ID requirement from health registries. And additionally, we have AKC online reports. I do like to remind people that if you are ordering an online report, we do not email these to you. So be sure that you download and save your report to your computer within five business days. And we have great breeder reports available. We have research pedigrees, which are four and five generation progeny reports. You have your competitor reports and several awards reports available as well. And that brings us to the end of our Breeder Toolkit webinar. I do hope you have enjoyed the information and we will be including a survey at the end. So please do let us know what content you'd like to see going forward. And we will also continue to address any questions that people have. And I also wanted to point out, we have our customer service number here, 919-233-9767, or you can email us at info at akc.org and our customer service agent Agents are available to assist you Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thank you so much, everyone.
And I want to thank Kelly and the AKC Registration and AKC Customer Service for tonight's presentation. As Kelly stated, as you exit, a survey will pop up. We would love to get your feedback on these webinars, um, see what types of topics you would like us to cover, um, and of course, how we can improve. And we hope you enjoyed this webinar and have a wonderful evening.